this video is about Illustrator and uh, all the ways to control the color that you're getting out of Illustrator. A lot of people will work in Illustrator and send their Illustrator files to a uh, printer where I work and I uh, spend a lot of time fixing their files to get it to print well. So I'm just going to show you the main tricks that I use and hopefully that'll help you control your Illustrator files a lot better. Uh, and the focus in this tutorial is on the color. So what I've got here is an example of a few different pictures. Uh, this one's a illustration that's been scanned in in RGB mode and then I've vectorized it. Uh, this guy is the same thing but it has not been vectorized. It's just a raster. It's been scanned in in RGB. Um, that's a raster that's been scanned in an RGB but it's uh, pretty much grayscale in appearance but that is actually um, RGB which is screen colors and this has been drawn in Illustrator so it has lots of live vectors in it and it's um, pretty nice and editable um, so the first thing you want to do is go up to your file menu and go down to color mode and the artist has correctly set this up in CMYK so um, usually usually that's uh, by default RGB unless they've set their stuff up differently so uh, I check it to CMYK first and then start changing everything else. That's probably the most important thing. That's the highest level. Now, um, have a look at how these uh, uh, color palettes are set up. I've just pulled out the color palettes that I use the most. Um, not, not actually the top one, but the second one is the swatches panel. These are just default swatches. I usually reduce those down to whatever colors you're working with. So you can uh, click and highlight and delete uh, all those colors that you don't have so you have a more clear description of the colors that are in your job and it will ask you do you really want to do that and you say yes um, and as you have uh, extra colors you can put them in there and and see what your jobs palette is more clearly uh, the next one is the color palette have that open as well and I also have this one it's not often used it's the separation preview um, and when you open that from the window menu, that'll come up switched off and I can just switch that on to see the separations. Now that's the best trick. That one's going to let you know what is in the job, what colors are in the job. So um, let's have a look at the first one here. This one um, is raster and this one is vector. So when we take the separations preview and switch it on, uh, let's take the black and we'll switch black ink off. Now what you can see here is on these ones that we're still actually seeing a dark color in the areas that are supposed to be black. This one is pretty much grayscale so we know it's not in black and white, it's RGB because I've switched off the black and it's still there. Now on this one which is built in Illustrator, when we switch the black on and off we are seeing it switch, it switch off completely. So that one's got correct blacks. Another way to do that is use your direct select tool which is shortcut A or it's the white arrow select one of your objects and then in your color palette look at this 0 0 0 100 that seems simple but people never set it up like that and they should now if we click up here these were our problem ones if we click up here that's what happens when you have an RGB black converted to CMYK black and in the print game they call that four color black and that's not really what you want. So using my direct select tool which is keyboard A, I click on that guy and on that black and obviously we've got the wrong black there so we want to be able to change that. How do we do that? Uh, use this little magic wand guy that will select everything in the entire document that is that same black color. Now you have to be careful because it's going to select across the whole document. And I've got other images here, it'll select those as well if they had the same color, but they don't. Simply click in there, put in a 0, 0, 0, 100. Now, looks exactly the same. Check that you've only changed the things you wanted to change, but that's a one color black. So when we switch off the black in our separations preview, that vanishes now. So that's what you want to have. Unless you want to do a rich black, which you can do, Go down, we'll put uh, 30, 30, 0, 100. You've got a rich black. So it'll print darker depending on uh, the machinery they're using to print it with. So that's a tricky one. If you switch off the black, there is still something there. 
uh, you have to direct select it to find out what it is so 3030100 okay so that one's fine now we want to do this one this one looks grayscale but isn't so I'll quickly live trace that so we go to live trace and tracing options and I won't convert it to black and white I'll leave it in color just for the exercise right now uh, I'll put this over here where you can see it so here we are in the live trace panel well, let's preview that it's only going to live trace the one we're working on it looks pretty good I'm not sure if that's even working right now and we'll just say color and leave everything as it is and say trace and expand and so now we have live vectors we've just converted a raster to live vectors um, now we switch off the separations preview we switch off the black and we still have colors there how do we convert that to grayscale illustrator has in the edit menu edit colors convert to grayscale there we have uh, you can see the parts are still there I've just switched off the black in the separations preview so we know that that entire image is black as opposed to RGB black or full color black another trick you want to learn with your blacks blacks is probably the most important thing in illustrator is uh, overprinting or knocking out see this part of the watermelon skin here I've set to uh, overprint so when we switch off when we switch off blacks you can see that the watermelon skin has no white um, piece underneath it and what's happened here is this this five cent has been converted when I did the rich black earlier so I'm gonna just direct select those change those back to single color black for this exercise so when I switch off the overprint preview what you've got there is called knocking out so that black ink is knocking out the magenta right behind it uh, we switch that back on we can see the difference between the watermelon skin and the five cent five cents knocking out watermelon skin is overprinting so if I direct select the watermelon skin this is my handy little attributes palette this is overprint fill which is grayed out right now and overprint stroke so I've switched that on that overprints it and if I select the five cent section um, we can say overprint fill and now that is going to leave the magenta right behind it see that and the reason you want to do that is it uh, will make your registration look better um, so when the printer prints the black it could be slightly uh, moved to the side or up or down or around and if those whites were behind there you get those unsightly white marks around the edge that's called our registration problems that means the plates aren't lining up exactly so what you do is you make sure your blacks overprint and then wherever they print they're going to look great it doesn't matter and it makes life a lot easier on the pressmen and it makes life uh, your job look way nicer in the end